is Colin Hill going to be able to play this fall? But I think I think that's too early uh, to answer, Terry. That's obviously the goal. Uh, you know, any time a guy gets an injury, is to rehab him. You know, as fast as possible, where he's in good health and he can play. Uh, you know, if there is a silver lining, it happened now instead of you know a month from now or in fall camp. Uh, it happened right now, so you know we'll see. That puts us at about five and a half months, I think before the first game, with the first game being, you know, in week zero, uh, you know, so it's, it's not out of the question, but it's, you know, it's definitely uh, a long rehab. I know his mindset's right, uh, but you can only go as fast as your knee will let you sometimes. How would you felt about your quarterback's development behind him anyway, and how much of that work has got to get done in the next Well, uh, it was going to be a big spring for that position anyway. Uh, you know, Colin had not taken – uh, you know, had played since his first year in game four and obviously practiced some, but it was going to be, you know, he was a little bit rusty and now it was going to be a big development for those two guys behind him, you know, making sure they got a ton of reps, uh, you know, some with the first team. We were going to have to find a guy that we felt good about being the backup going in and now, you know, Collins out of the equation. So, you know, it's these two guys, the focus will be on them uh, and they'll have a lot of opportunities, which they've been having opportunities since they've been here. Uh, the spotlight will be on them and see how they handle a little bit of pressure. What are the chances that your starting quarterback for the Rocky Mountain Showdown isn't on campus right now? Well, we're, we're actively recruiting, as I said, I believe after our, our, our signing day, you know, that, that we did not sign a quarterback in this class and we were actively recruit a quarterback this offseason and we're still doing that. Coach, what was your first reaction when you heard about Collins injury? Well, I was heartbroken for the, for the young man. Uh, you know, it's, you know, a lot of times when your phone rings, you know, at night or early in the morning, you're, you know, it's bad news, and sometimes there's the bad news off the field that you you don't want to hear, and then you get the get the message or talk to uh, talk to Tony uh, Hill, our trainer, and just you know, just heartbroken for that kid. How hard he's worked, uh, he's really had a great off season in our fourth quarter program. Uh, he stepped up as far as being a leader, uh, a vocal leader on and off the off the field, uh, really. I mean, he breaks it down before practice, after practice, or the workouts, not necessarily practice. And, uh, and you know, it's just one of those things that happens. And, you know, you can't, can't put a finger on it. You could say, hey, you shouldn't have played basketball. You should live in a bubble. But, you know, I don't have that policy. You know, guys can get hurt walking down the street. Uh, and it's unfortunate. He's got a long rehab uh, ahead of him. But I know uh, if anybody can come back from it, it's Kyle Neal.